Assalamualaikum. Today we are going to present our findings on university students sleeping hours preferabilities. This video was made in fulfillment for our special topic subject. Start with model on design development. We use k nearest neighbor algorithm for classification to decide whether the student is getting sufficient or insufficient sleep. Moving on to data collection, we made a questionnaire through Google Form and share to our friends for them to fill out. For data selection, we use the 80-20 ratio, 80 for training, 20 for test. From the 80% for training, we turn into 4K4, 80 for them for train, 20 for them for test. Data reduction, we remove the unnecessary attributes. In this case, we remove the timestamp attribute. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Alia Syairah binti Badru Ishab. Today, I would like to present about data transformation. Data transformation is convert categorical and nominal data to numerical value. Okay, this is the coding that we use in this project to convert the data. Okay, next is uh, this shows the data data before data transformation um, process. The data in categorical uh, data and this is after the data transformation process. The data already in numerical value. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurashki Mithimaikir. I will be explaining the results of our project. Okay, we have done four classification. So the first one is the full one. We have set the hyperparameter n is equal to 5, p is equal to 2, and we achieve the training accuracy for k one 72.5%, and for the test accuracy, 67.4%. k two we have set the hyperparameter n is equal to 3, p is equal to 1, and we achieve the training accuracy at 3.7%, and for the test accuracy, 62.2%. For k three, we have set the hyperparameter n is equal to 1, p is equal to 1. They will achieve the best highest accuracy, 72.4%, and for the test accuracy, we will achieve 55.5%. For the last cross validation, hyperparameter, we have set it to n is equal to 5, p is equal to 2. So, the training accuracy that we have achieved, 72.1%, and for the test accuracy, 73.3%. Then we proceed to big model. So before we could achieve the best highest accuracy, we have done so many hyperparameter adjustments since we couldn't achieve uh, more than 50% accuracy. Then we have come up with the solution to duplicate the data in the training file in order to overcome the insufficient data problem, okay, which this part will be explained by my friend later in the discussion part. Mm, so the, for the big model, we have set the high parameter n is equal to 5, p is equal to 2 to achieve the training accuracy 71.9%, test accuracy 62.5%. This is quite good. Then in the prediction example, the scatter plot of real model and KNN classification, you could say that the model could predict well for sufficient and insufficient sleep. Okay, so this is the sample output of sleep prediction. Okay, sleep is sufficient. But the result for the model is just 62.5% accurate. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Uh, so for the discussion part, First of all, we split the data set into 80 and 20 ratio for train and test data. Also, we apply the same ratio for the k fold And then, we do 4 cross validation and we obtain a various result from this validation. Then, the highest accuracy from the cross validation is 73.3%. The big model accuracy was 57.14% but it is not enough to do prediction which is uh, the minimum requirement is 60%. But after a few discussion with our director and our team member, we do data duplication for the training data and we get the result of 62.5% accuracy. So, we identified that our problem is that our data is not sufficient uh, for creating the training model. So, we do data duplication. We do this because of the time constraint to collecting new data. That's all from the discussion part. We go to the conclusion and recommendation. Thank you. As the conclusions, k nearest neighbors we can call as KNN algorithm is a non-parametric method that used for these classifications. KNN use available data as the model to perform the predictions process. To develop a better classification model, we perform cross-validations on the data splitting 
as it can ensure the efficiency of the classification model. Sleep predictions can help the student to know their sleep pattern as well as it helps the students in their performance in the study. Thus, sleep predictions is very important among the students as it can help the student in planning their sleep and by scheduling their time sleep to be more productive and more energized students. That's all, thank you.